Hello drone racers, and in this case, photo drone people. This is the Phantom 3 SE, which actually came out after the 4, but it's made to fit a specific market, namely me, who I don't want to spend over $1,000 on a drone. I just can't do it. This has a 4K camera, it's supposed to go 4 kilometers, and you can get it pretty easily for under $600. In my first video, I just kind of tested all the features to see what it could do, but now I want to know how far will it go? Will it go 4 kilometers without Lightbridge or OcuSync or whatever all those fancy DJI technologies are? And I actually have two tests to show you. The first one is just linked down below in the description. It is with this stock radio, stock everything, just as it is. And it went out and it did okay. I mean, it was it was good enough, but it wasn't great. It wasn't super impressive. And I planned on doing a second test as a separate review, but I'm just going to combine it in one. In the second one, I used this, which is just a range extender that you can buy for a few dollars. And I expect it to be a fancy tinfoil hat and absolutely do nothing, make it no difference at all. But it made such a humongous difference that I won't fly this without it on here. I'll just fly it with this every time. So that's actually the flight that I'm gonna show you with this connected and on there. So you can see really for an extra couple of dollars, it's worth it and just have it and use it. And this is the performance that you can expect when you go out and fly it. I took this out in the middle of nowhere to do it and had a couple people watching for everything out in the area. Normally I would never ever go out this far, but I was 100% confident that there were no aircraft, there was nothing even close. And I'm over fields and no houses or population or nothing. There's nothing out there. Even the birds weren't out. So then we just took it out and let it go. Okay, so we've got this little thingy on it and uh, we'll see what it does, see if it helps. Start by going up to uh, same thing, 120 meters. Where are we at here? Height, 70 meters. Hundred twenty meters it caps out, that's pretty good. Video is way better this time. Just significantly better with this thing on it. I'm actually kind of shocked. It's right out there. It's out that way. It was this way. And now it's over there. Yes, that's for the helicopters to land on, not for you to step on. Oh. Sorry. So it's already seems to be pretty significantly better. Significantly better with this thing on it. That's actually shocking how much of a difference that makes. Perfect video. That is just amazing how different it is. Why does it not come with this? I don't understand why it doesn't come with one of these. With perfect video. I'm two miles out with perfect video. That is shocking. Look at that. It's just perfect. There's a river there. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, see, I lost it. Oh, okay. Cancel return to home. You're all right. I believe in you. Try and get it up a little higher. Aim it right at the... Here we go. Nope. I couldn't... I can't... Uh huh. It's amazing. It went from... Cancel return to home. Aircraft disconnected. So it... Interesting. All right. At that point, we're going to tell it to return to home. Signal loss. It is returning to home. Still. Out for where it went. This thing made a gigantic 
difference. It's unbelievable how much of a difference this thing made. I forgot to start recording the video. Hopefully we get it all. There we go. We turn on the video. I like that with Return to Home. I can turn around and look and see what's in the different areas. Then line it back up. It's still coming. It's still at the same altitude, which is just outstanding. We're just going to let it return to home all the way and just kind of see how it looks. Oh, interesting. Oh, just for a second, lost it. Lost it. 67% battery at 200 meters out. We're plenty of range to come back. Except that's my flight path. I don't want to go over their house. So here's where it's nice. I can divert the path. Can't I? Yep, so I'm going to divert the path by pressing left because I don't want to fly over these people's barn and house. So you can see here it's curving left now. So I can see this line to make sure I don't cross over. I just want to stay over the fields. You don't see that with the satellite. It's really, really handy. There we go, almost there. on the view okay you're clear there pretty big uh, pretty big spot here I don't know what that is because it's not a house Interesting, that is a house that I can't even see from where I am. I didn't even know it was there. So I wanted to keep returning to home. I wish I could just turn off the beeper. That would be nice. I do not see any cats. Can I see a helicopter? It's right out there. You yes. see it? Do you see yep. it? Yep. It's right there. I saw it the whole time. I'm zapping? Well, on that thing. And, uh. Oh, did you see how it's happening? Hey, I still cannot see it. You still can't see it? Here we go. Well, <laughs> Do you see where you are? You were right here. Oh. And where, and where is the helicopter at? Right out there. I hear it. Do you hear it? Can you hear it now? Listen real quiet. Do you hear it? I don't here it see comes. It. It's right there. Right there. See that white dot? on here. There it is. Oh my gosh. I see, look. You see where we are? See, that's the house that we're at? What? See? Yeah. It looks like the same house. It is the same house. Amazing how that works. See there, it's straight up. Can you see it straight up? Right up there, and it's going to come land. I see it. It's gonna. It's supposed to land right there. You think it'll land right there? Yep. And land. Here it comes. I don't think it's gonna f hit it. Let's 
even further off this time. So it was about 10 feet off this time. That works though. So it didn't go quite four kilometers. It went three and a half kilometers. And to me, that's kind of splitting hairs. It went out as far as you need it to go. Realistically, that, that's just as far as you need to go. And any further than that, you'd start to worry about low battery and it came back just fine. I had no worry. I had half battery left. It was perfectly safe out there, had control the whole time. It was just an outstanding flight. Without this on it, it wasn't quite that good. So if you want to see that, again, it's in the description down below. There's a link to go watch that video. But keep in mind, four kilometers is really under ideal, perfect circumstances, which this was pretty close. This is about the best you can do. You're not gonna be flying at four kilometers away at ground level. You need to have some altitude. You need to have clearance over everything. You need to be able to see it directly, have direct line of sight to it in order to get out that far. But it did a really good job, and I was able to control it and see the video the whole time, which was what was really nice. I was three and a half kilometers out, and I could still stop and look and turn around and see what was going on and have full video for my site the whole time. So it was just really good. I was really impressed. Right now you can get one of these for between 465 is the best deal I've seen for Black Friday and about $600 depending on where you want to go. I think it's $600 in most retail stores. Try and keep the link down below listing the best deals and best coupons that I know available. I also have a spreadsheet where I keep track of all the best deals that I know of and I always include this in here because it is one of my favorites. The question is, is it worth $100 more on average than the Show Me Me drone which I've also reviewed on the channel which I also did the exact same test on the exact same day with and I'm gonna say it went further but I'm not sure it did it as smooth. So there's a whole shootout coming between the two so we can do a live good comparison between the two to really make the decision on which one you want to get. So if you found this useful, leave a like and a comment down below and let me know which one you think is the best option. Is it going to be the Phantom 3 SE? Is it going to be the Show Me drone? Should you spend three times more on a Phantom 4 or the Mavic? Which one is the way to go? So until next time, remember, I am so totally sold on this little thing as the best upgrade you can possibly make to a quadcopter.